praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy name. Oh, he's a rock. He's my rock. Yes, sir. My rock. My sword and shield. Oh, he's that will. He's that will. Oh, in the middle of the will. I know he'll never, 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 ever, never let me down. He's just that jewel. Oh, that I have found. Church singing hallelujah. A hallelujah. Oh, I love to praise his name. Church is singing hallelujah. A hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Church is singing hallelujah. A hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy name. Oh, he's the rock. He's my rock. Yes, sir. The rock, my soul and shield. Oh, he's the wheel. He's the wheel. Oh, all in the middle of the wheel. I know he'll never, 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 ever, never let me down. He's just that true. Oh, that I have found church singing hallelujah. A hallelujah. Oh, I love to praise his name. Church is singing hallelujah. A hallelujah. Oh, I love to praise his name. Church is singing hallelujah. A hallelujah. Oh, I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise Oh, I love to pray. In the morning, I love to pray. In the afternoon, I love to pray. In the evening, I love to pray. This is a holy name. Let the church say amen. amen. That we are giving thanks unto the Father. Yes, sir. Which has made us meet. Yes, to be partakers of the saints in light. Amen. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness. Yes, and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead, set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Far above, I say it far above, church, all principality and power and might and dominion, in every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Yes. And has set all things yes, sir. Yes, sir. under his feet. Amen. Gave him to be the head over all things of the church. Yes, which is his body. Yes. The fullness of him that filleth all in all. Yes. I am grateful to see the fruition of this wonderful inaugural national lectureship. Amen. I want to thank Brother Jeffrey Evans, Leonard Graves Jr., Robert Green, Mike Crosby, Jerry D. Norris, Rufus Johnson, Cecil Brown, Arthur Graves, David Williams, and our executive uh, director of our lectureship, Brother H. Clay Williams. I'm just grateful, my heart.
There are tears of joy. For the messages that have uh, thus far graced uh, this assembly. We're grateful for the committee that met in Houston, amen, and all the Houston preachers uh, for seeing this to this very hour. Wonderful stepping out on the pathways, amen, uh, um, and uh, not stepping off. Uh, on other ways, amen. Uh, we are grateful for this uh, 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 time that we uh, can share together in Jeremiah and the preaching of this great preacher. Uh, that 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 not at least uh, coming to the point where Jeremiah is speaking. And, and speaking in his first discourse, and I just want to uh, introduce my topic. I'm not going to be long with you tonight, but I, I do want to do my topic well. Uh, that I want you to join me in Jeremiah chapter 2. And uh, we're going to be looking at verses, uh, uh, starting at uh, uh, verses 9 through verse 12. Uh, tonight... Uh, Jeremiah says, Wherefore I will yet plead with you, yeah. Yeah. saith the Lord, uh -huh. with your children's children well, I will plead. Uh -huh. For pass over, and I want you to pass over the Isles of Kittim, and see and send to Kedar, and consider diligently and see if there be such a thing. Have the nation change their gods, which are no gods, but my people. Let me just say, my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. He ends in this great prophet of God who uh, began this message in the 13th uh, year of Josiah's reign. That before Josiah had commenced that great uh, reformation in, uh, in the uh, time in which Israel was uh, being judged and uh, needed to straighten up that uh, Jeremiah came along with warnings and he uh, and an admonition, if you will, in uh, verse twelve. He simply uh, looks to the heavens and says, "Be astonished, O oh, heavens, at this time, at this. Be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate," saith the Lord. And as we commence in this great lectureship, stepping off those ancient highways and stumbling onto stumbling pathways, that we might look at this great prophet and look at the, I want you to annotate, I want you tonight to, 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 to look and annotate verse 11 where uh, the, the book says, Hath a nation changed their God, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. I tell you tonight, if a change is has been made is uh, the change has not uh, been with God but it's been uh, regrettably with the people of God I'm reminded of Malachi and I'm so grateful for the uh, preachers that have stood uh, in the gap if you will brother C.E. Shaw uh, those that have uh, high Jackson and uh, those and Brother Johnson this morning and 
uh, no one can forget the great preaching we have uh, heard this evening in the person of Don Warren and uh, the, the preachers that have uh, come in this old soldier from Fort Worth. Uh, I, I'm, I'm humbled in the presence of God. But I tell you tonight, I'm reminded of Malachi that if any uh, change was made, that the, the change is not and uh, cannot be with God. I'm, I'm reminded in Malachi 3 and, and verse number 6 that for I am the Lord, I, I change not. Therefore, your sons of Jacob are not consume in James chapter 1 and, and, and 17 where every good gift yeah. and every perfect gift yeah. uh, cometh from above and cometh down from the uh, Father of lights where there is no changing, there is no variableness, uh, neither shadow of turning, that if some change is occurred, uh, it had not been uh, with our God, that Jesus Christ, who is God, amen, in John 1 and, and verse 1, that in the beginning, uh, uh, God, uh, the, the God, uh, uh, and God continues to uh, uh, be, and Jesus is, is who he always was, amen, that, that in the beginning, God, uh, and Jesus, and the word who, who was God, amen, uh, uh, that, that Jesus be, uh, came flesh, and uh, he dwelled uh, among us, amen, that, that Hebrews 13 and, and verse number 8, the Bible says that Jesus Christ, uh, the, the same uh, yesterday and, and today uh, and forever, this, this, this immutability of God in scripture is, is a person who is omnipresent, he's a person that is omniscient, he is a person that is omnipotent, uh, uh, he has not, uh, is not, uh, will ever not uh, be changed. At least that is what's implied when he spoke to Moses in Exodus 3 and 14 that, that God said to Moses, I am. God does not change uh, in whom he is. Uh, he said to Moses that thus thou should say to the children of Israel, uh, he said, I am uh, that uh, I am. Uh, God is always God. His life does not change. God neither became nor is becoming. His life never began nor will it end. In Psalms, I need a few readers here in Psalm chapter 102 and verse number 25 that of all you laid the foundation of the earth, the heavens are the work of your hand. They, they will perish, amen, but you shall remain. Uh, they will all wear out like a garment. Uh, you will uh, uh, change them like a robe, uh, and they will uh, pass away, but you are the same, and your years have no end. All right. In Psalm 9, I'm just telling you that Jeremiah is talking about a change. 
and the change is never with God. In Psalm 90, come on, Brother Rufus, uh, and verse uh, number two, that before the mountains were brought forth, uh, or ever you had formed the earth uh, and the world, come on now, from everlasting to everlasting, thou Oh God, uh, if a change has been made, uh, is not in God, uh, is always with the people of God. He does not change in purpose and plan that many and varied changes. The relationship to that God that he has abstained with his creatures. Yes, as well as more conspicuously the events and redemptive history for the salvation of man. Amen. That they are not thought. I'm just telling you that change. We know that it changed from the patriarchal period, Brother Mike, he changed to the mosaic period, uh, he changed to the Christian dispensation, amen, when Jesus came and spoke unto them, he, he said that I want you to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature that he that believeth uh, and baptized and is baptized uh, shall be saved, that God uh, has changed and disposition but those changes were consistent uh, with his dispensational will in Galatians 3 come on I need a reader here but before faith came uh, we were kept under the law shut up under the faith and should afterwards be revealed uh, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ. Uh, any changes uh, were not changes, they were fulfillment of his will. In Hebrews chapter number 10 and Verse uh, number nine, brothers, uh, and then say, he said, Come on, I come to that the Lord, I come to do your will, O God. He taketh away the first, he taketh away the first, and he established the second, that he might establish. The, those are the only changes you'll see in God. But he's consistent, yes, immutable, Come on, when it comes to who he is, or uh, when he be, when he is, and what he is, and and his purpose for us. His purpose well. is unchangeable. In Isaiah, come on preachers, uh, in Isaiah 14 and verse number 24, the Lord of hosts has sworn, as I planned, uh, so shall it be, uh, as I purpose, uh, it uh, shall stand, amen. In Isaiah, come on, Rufus, in Isaiah 46, uh, verses 9 to 11, uh, the book says that I am God. There is no other. I am God. There is none like me declaring the end uh, from the beginning and from the ancient things uh, yet not done. Uh, saying, come on, my counsel shall stand. I will do all my pleasure. I will do all my pleasure. Read. Come on. Ravenous bird from the Preacher. east. From the east read. The land that executed my children. The land that executed. Come on. Come on. From a far country. From a far country read. Yeah, I have spoken. I it. have spoken. Well. 
it. It. I will also bring it to pass. I will bring it to pass. I have purpose it. I have purpose it. I will also do it. I will do it. Hearken unto me. If there has been any change, uh -huh. it has not been with God. That's right. Jeremiah says it's the people of God. And then he asked him to take a field trip. Preachers, Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah, uh, chapter 2, come on now, and I want you to start, come on now, at verse uh, uh, number uh, 10, come on now, in fact, start at verse number 9, the Bible well, says what? I hear plead with you, I hear plead with you. Lord. say the Lord, and for your children, children, I will plead, your children, children, I will plead. I will pass over the isles of Chittim and I will pass over the isles of Chittim and see. Of Chittim and see. And see. And send into Kadra and to consider diligently. And consider. They went on a field trip. And see if there is such a thing. And I think we need to take a field trip. Yeah. Well, Hath a nation changed their gods? Have the name now? Now wait a minute. That 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 Kittim is a modern day Cyprus. Yes, sir. Kadar right. is a modern day Saudi Arabia. The distance of the trip yeah. is a thousand six hundred. In 79 miles. In, 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 in kilometers and miles, it's 1,043. Could you imagine folks that walked? You see, the idea is God gives that distance of surveying nations and religious and religions that are wildly religions. In order to make Come on. an admonition yes, to the people of God. Uh -huh. That in your research uh -huh. from the uttermost uh, uh, western on, uh, islands yes, yes, yes. of Cyprus to the uttermost eastern. A uh, time or uh, area of Arabia Listen. that yeah. have you find out if any of them folks come on, come on, have changed their gods, their gods, right. which are yet no gods, and, 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 and which is no god that re but my reminds me. Wait now, now that, that brother Rufus, I want you to go to Acts 17 and, and verse number 16 because there's only one god. It's for the church that we need to take a field trip yes, and survey the practice and conviction of other religious people and their commitment to who they say that they are. Because the church has always been somebody. It has always been the body. And there's always been one body. In Acts 17 and, and verse 16, a uh, uh, wow, Paul, come on, read. Now, while Paul waited for them at Athens, in Athens, his spirit was stirred in him. His spirit was they stirred. They were holy, given to idolatry. They were holy, given to idolatry. Uh, to idolatry. Read. He disputed he in the synagogue with the Jews, 
and with the devout persons and in the market daily with them that met him. Amen. In verse 23, drop down, Rufus, the For Bible said that as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I heard and beheld your devotion. I found an altar with this inscription. With this inscription. To the unknown God. Now they didn't even know God. Whom therefore you ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. Yes, sir. Worship. Worship. Him declare, Him I declare unto you. Unto you. Read. God that made the world God all things therein. That made, you see, I thought the church of Christ was convinced and Jeremiah says they were Jeremiah in the old time the things that are written aforetime are written uh, for our learning that we through patience and, and comfort of the scriptures we, we might have some hope uh, the people of God in, in figure and in, in shadow in, the, 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 in the, the, the nation of Israel that Jeremiah will start come on Rufus, and in Jeremiah chapter 2 and, uh, and around verse number 2 the, the Bible Say what? Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem. Go say. and cry in the ears of Jerusalem. Go on. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. I remember thee. I remember the kindness thee. of thy youth. The, the, the what? The kindness of the thy youth. The kindness of thy youth. The love of thine espousal. The love that I was married. When thou went after me in the I was married yeah. unto you. That Second Corinthians, come on now, eleven uh, verses one. I'm just I'm, Jeremiah knew that the people of God knew the true God. Come on, the church, the people of God in this text was married to God. In 2 Corinthians 11 verses 1 and 2, the Bible said what God, God. He would bear with me in my little folly. Bear with me in my little folly. Bear Come with on. Me. Indeed, bear with me. Bear with me, I read. I am jealous over you with a I godly jealousy. I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy. Godly jealousy. For I have exposed you to I one have husband. I have exposed you to one husband. To what? One husband. One husband. And I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. I present it. The church is married. As the children of Israel were married. And they were married to the true God. That, that was a need for the field trip. I took a survey. I took a trip at Century Boulevard. And I went from Century all the way to Martin Luther King Boulevard. And I have the, the list of the names of religious groups. That first there was a, a light ray Baptist church. The Greater New Jerusalem Church, the Sermon on the Mount Missionary Baptist Church, that was the Greater Liberty Baptist Church, that was the Lord is My Shepherd Church, that was a Greater Faith Ministry, that was the Seventh Day Adventist Church, that was a Full Christian Church. I took a survey. I took my own trip. There was the Alpha and Omega Christian Center, the, the Jerusalem Church, the Holy Pilgrim Temple, the Love and Faith Center, the Lord's Ambassadors of Christ Christian Church, the God's House Deliverance uh, for all full gospel. Uh, it was the Canaan Land Ministries, uh, and all of them uh, were either community churches or denominational entities. That do not know God. And I'm amazed that the people of God 
according to Jeremiah. I need to be back in Jeremiah 2 and verse number 3. I'm going to be where you want me in a minute. Uh, in Jeremiah 2 and verse number 3, because the people of God are always somebody they are the only body there is one body uh, that belongs to God and I'm wondering tonight uh, I want you to read Rufus they Israel are somebody holiness. read Israel was holiness unto the Lord Israel was holiness unto the unto Lord, the Lord. And the Come first on. fruits of his increase the fruits uh, first fruits or first fruits of, of his, his increase. increase. All read. that devour him shall defend. All that devour him shall defend. Shall this uh, that shall uh, what? Offend. Offend. Uh, Evil shall come upon them. Right, the and, and, and it says the Lord that Israel and the church, if you will, is somebody. But I have a question tonight. That why would the people of God who is somebody be doing what nobody has done. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all members of that one body are many members of uh, one body and, and so is Christ uh, and 1 Corinthians 12 and, and verse number 20 uh, before we get there Ephesians 4 and 4 says there is one body and, and one spirit uh, even if you're called and one hope uh, of your calling and 1 Corinthians 12 and 20 uh, but not how are there many members yet? But one body. One body. When Christ said he would build his church, he says the gates of hell in Matthew 16 18 shall not prevail against it. Daniel said in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall not be left to other people. It was consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. In Ephesians 5 and verse number 25, husband, love your wife even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it uh, that he might sanctify and cleanse it uh, with the washing of water by the word uh, that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot uh, or wrinkle or any such thing but it should be holy and without blemish uh, so are men to love their wives uh, as their bodies he that loved his wife uh, loved himself no man ever hated his own flesh uh, but nourishes and cherish it it. it was an it uh, for Isaiah. Uh, it was an it uh, for the days of Christ. Uh, it's an it now. I have no idea why the church today would call itself the Church of Christ denomination. That's contrary to what Christ prayed for. Amen. In John 17, that neither pray I for these alone, but them also that should believe on me through their word, that they all may be one. In 1 Corinthians 1.10, the Bible says simply, I beseech you by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ in his name that you all speak the same thing, that there be no division among you. Ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and same judgment. I'm going to 
going to start making my way. The Church of Christ yeah. is not a denomination. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Come on with me. These churches are synonymous. I gave a list of Down Century Boulevard. Synonymous with creeds yes, and laws yes, that are not in the Word of God. Galatians 6 and 1 and 2. Verse 2 says, uh, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. I, I, the, the, the issue is here that I want you to understand that Jeremiah says, take a trip, take a field trip, go to east and west, sir, and you'll be astonished at something. Where have the anyone uh, uh, changed the nations uh, change their gods, uh, which are not gods, but my people yeah. Yeah. Yes, have changed their glory. All right. well. I know we're not a denomination because we only go by a biblical creed. Yeah. 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 That's right. All right. It is the law of Christ. It is a law of Christ. Galatians 5, I can do it in that. Galatians 5, I want Galatians, uh, and I want to go over there. One, and around verse number 5, the, the Bible says what? Come on, Rufus. The Bible says what? Come on. In Galatians uh, the, 1. And the Bible says... Galatians 1 6. 1 6. Come on, bro. I marvel that you're so soon removed Come on, from brother. him to call you into the grace of Christ into another gospel, yeah. which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and who will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any of the gospel unto you, then that which you have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any of the gospel unto you, you then, then that, that which you receive, let him be accursed. accursed. Let me tell you, Roman Catholicism has not changed their creed. Uh, Lutheranism is still Lutheran. Presbyterian is still Presbyterian. Episcopalian are still Episcopalian. Methodists are still going by method. The Baptist church is still in the Baptist standing manual. The charismatic folk, the holy rollers are still holy and they're still rolling. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem I have, one day they're going to roll up in the hill. I'm coming to a close. It seems, I want you to get this. It seems that some of our brethren prefer to be identified with such groups rather than with the, their brethren in the Church of the Christ. They no longer believe in the exclusive message of salvation and the one church uh, that's of scripture. They do not, they, 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 the indicators are the same uh, of our brethren who have chosen this, this route and have similar uh, laxity about doctrinal standards, amen. Uh, church for them is all about fellowship, fun, doing good, and feeling good. These brethren crave acceptance with their neighbors in all these denominational churches. Peter simply said in 2 Peter 2, 1, but there were false prophets also among the people. Even there shall be false teachers among you shall privately bring indomitable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, uh, bring upon them swift destruction. They went out. John would say in 1 John 19 from us because they were not of us for if they had been of us they were not and uh, were not all they were, uh, were, were not they would not doubt have continued with us uh, but they went out they might be made manifest they are not all of us. And left I again with Philippians 3 and verse 19. Whose end is destruction. Whose God is their belly. And I, and, and I want you to read Rufus just quickly. Jeremiah 2.10. I'm coming down. 
Jeremiah 2.10. Jeremiah 2.10. Uh -huh. uh, 2.12 is what I want. 2.12. His, his purpose, immutable. By two immutable things in which God cannot lie. Amen. We have strong constellation that are fled for refuge yeah. to lay hold of the hope is upon us and hope of eternal life, Titus said, and whom God cannot lie. Yeah. Preach, preacher. He promised that mm -hmm. from the conception of the world. Yeah. Amen. That God is not man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said it, shall he not do it? Have he not spoken it, shall he not make it good? Jeremiah 2 and verse number 12, the book says what? Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this. Be astonished, O ye heavens. In fact, uh, uh, go back to verse 11. That's what I want. Has the nation when you changed go on the their gods? Trip, they have what? Has the nation changed have their gods? Have they changed their gods? Which are yet no gods? They are yet no gods. Our people have changed their glory. But they, you, you see, the purpose is for that which purpose does not profit. Was glory from the church. Yeah. Well, Ephesians 3.20 That unto him be glory. In the church. And when you run, when you forget God and you change your conviction and what you believe, that's the only way you can be denominational. You have to change your creed. Yes, sir. From the Bible. Amen. Denominations cannot exist without their creed. Amen. Amen. Preacher, Amen. preacher. So when you change your creed, you change your God. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell our brethren we are not a denomination. Because if you stay with the Bible creed, yeah. you'll only be a Christian. Yeah. Amen. If you're here tonight, yes, sir. you're not a Christian. Yes, sir. I believe one preacher said book, chapter, and verse. That's all we do. Amen. I can't give you more than what Jesus said. And, and Matthew and Mark 16, 15 and 16, Jesus said, go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. He, that, 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 that's that Greek term, Amen. which includes she. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. You can count he that believeth one and is baptized two shall be saved three. After you hear, believe, confess Christ, be the Son of God, be willing to repent of your sin. You can put your own in baptism tonight. And Peter said in Acts chapter 2, when they asked men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter simply said, repent yeah. in verse 38. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, Amen. you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You'll be added to that, 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 that somebody Amen. that is the only body, that one body, yeah. which is the church of Christ. Yeah. We're going to ask you to stand. You need prayer tonight. We've got people that can pray for you. Yeah. We want you to stand at this time. If you have been far in your guilty distance from the God of heaven, that always an opportunity. I heard a preacher say once that as long as there is life in the body, there is hope. Yeah. If you haven't perished out there, he was right. come on back. Yes, Ask yeah. forgiveness. Amen. Let the church pray for you. Yes, sir. And God will restore you if you're a Christian tonight. Amen. Come on back. Or, or go take a field trip. And let's pray at this time. Let's sing the song of invitation. Oh, do not let the word depart. And close thy eyes against the lie. A poor sinner. Harden not your heart, be saved, yes, oh, tonight, 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 tonight.